hello everyone welcome back to another video i have again with me my fire hd 8 2017 and of course i'm very very happy to have this video today because finally this device is now rootable well, along with the hd fire 7 as well as the hd 10 uh, so those devices are now rootable there is an exploit that is been found by those the following developers I really have to give thanks as well as everyone else who will be trying this method we have to all support these developers and I'm going to put all their names on screen so that you guys can see so head over to XD and support them thanks so you can now install super Sue on this device and it's very simple the process is very long but uh, going through the process itself if you follow me carefully it will be simple so let me now turn on the screen so the first thing that you want to ensure that you have is the adb drivers so ensure that you have that downloaded and installed on your pc so now uh, first things first let us uh, first of all which is very important let's go to settings and change the display timeout to let's say about 30 minutes because we do not want the screen to go off during this process because that might uh, corrupt whatever commands that will be sent to the device so we'll be using uh, adb commands of course to do this um, also i'm not sure if it will work on the latest firewise versions well currently the firewise is 5.6.3.0 or if you go on to device settings you'll see it's listed as 5.3.6.4 but this is the firewise version that it is known to work on and of course the older ones if you guys are running them uh, just to show you guys as well how legit this video is I'm going to show you right now that the device is not rooted so let me open root check over here and you can see that the device is not rooted okay um yeah so the device is not rooted so let's get started let's jump right in okay so first of all providing that you guys already have your adb drivers installed let's now connect the cable as you can see here let's connect so when you connect the cable into the device um you should see in a while that you have the device on adb up here now i don't have it as yet which okay now it's up here so you should see adb on screen and also you should receive a prompt asking you if you'd allow the pc to access adb on the device and you must allow it if you don't then the commands won't the device won't accept the commands so um, go to device options let's enable adb um if you don't have it so to enable developer options on the kindle fire you go to device options and you tap on serial number multiple times until you see developer options to the bottom here you now tap on enable adb and you'll have adb enabled so now let's go back to our home screen so now download this file here i'll have the links to this file in the description uh, so let's open this file here first okay so now you'll be prompted now remember the commands won't work if you don't allow the prompt that will show up on your screen i've already allowed it so it works for me so let's press y for yes okay so this will now show up this will now show up here um so what you have to do now guys you have to uh, select this file so you have to copy and paste all these comments down here so of course the video might be prolonged as a result of this so let's copy this command first and we're going to paste it over here so all this is just running the exploit onto the device uh, so we're going to now press enter um, at first after pressing this command to mount the system partition as read write you may um, see a message down here saying that your access to the system is denied now if you see this option you simply close this window okay you close this window and then you open the file again and then you try if you see it again you try again that's that's how it's done this um, 
it's just trying to run the exploit here to mount the system as read write. So if that system is not mounted as read write, then it won't work. So I'm going to paste it again, and you'll see that I didn't get any message saying that my access is denied. So if it says access denied, just try again. Okay, so now we're going to copy the rest uh, of the commands over here. So just ensure that you copy them carefully and you will paste and it's a repeated process so now you're going to copy the second one as well Now after running the commands, you're now going to press type exit to exit this program. Press again and now we'll, uh, exit. And now we're going to edit, um, open sorry, this file over here. Um, it's now going to install SuperSo onto the device. So just be a bit patient, it will take some time of course. Uh, so soon you will see Super Su and then from there we'll continue. Okay, so Super Su is now complete. Let me just press enter to close. And you can see Super Su down here. Now after Super Su is installed on the device, we can now disconnect from the PC. And um, let's open Super Su. So now, reason why we're going to be opening SuperSU is that we have to update the binary so that SuperSU can work on the device so I can have full root access. So you see the notification just came up here. The binary needs to be updated. So let's continue. I'm going to select normal and it's going to now update the binary. Okay, so now the binary update is now complete. So now we're going to simply select reboot to reboot the device. So boot up is now complete. Uh, so now let's uh, go down and I want to show you guys one thing. I'm going to open root checker just to show you guys that the device is indeed rooted. Okay. Uh, so let's open up here. So you see here my device is rooted. Uh, just for you to see the date as well. Uh, March, you can see March 2nd, 2019. So you can see here that the device was rooted today um, at the recording of my video, as as you can see. Uh, KFDOWI as the model, and, and it's running Android 5.1. Okay, um, also on Super Su, let's change a quick setting. Um, if you may not see the prompt, which is one issue I also noticed. Um, you might have to now this might be risky but we might have to do it you might have to uncheck re-authentication as well as the default access you will have to select grant so that you can grant the applications access so you can also always change this um, so when applications are granted access you can go over here and remove them as well as going to the logs as well and removing access um, so yes that's it for today guys and of course um you can now go ahead and of course i recommend that you remove uh, fire os updates because it's very important that you remove it if the device 
uh, receives an update from Amazon, it is going to remove your root access. And if that happens, then of course that might be Amazon patched the exploit and you may not be able to root the device. So guys, please, please, I recommend that you remove the Fire OS update. I will show you. I will also link the name of the file in the description and you can delete the file using AS File Explorer. So remember, delete Fire OS updates. Okay, and you can also feel free to delete any Amazon apps, but just be careful because you have root access and be careful as to watch which files you delete and also um, when customizing the operating system as well. So be very careful guys and I will end here. Thank you very much for watching and of course I trust that this video really helped you guys and of course please subscribe to my channel as well as supporting those developers who worked really hard to find this exploit for the device so once again i want to thank those developers and also thank you guys for watching and remember subscribe to my channel like the video and share with others and i will see you in another video